gold lungs today i will talk about uh, gold i will talk about the uh, yellow metal and i will talk about the potential uh, potential growth only because um, the downside um, uh, maybe it was uh, it was invalidated and um, personally maybe i'm looking for i'm looking for lungs in the in the short term but before i will talk about uh, i will talk about gold here is the disclaimer okay um please read it it's important to understand the risks and uh, don't forget guys to subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and uh, personally I'm waiting for messages right below this uh, this video also if you want to become a VIP member you can access the link posted right below this uh, video so uh, lungs here in gold um, as you already know from my um, from the last uh, live trading webinar I've talked about yesterday about uh, this uptrend line I've talked about this uh, this triangle so uh, right now you can see that uh, the, the price section registered only a false breakdown with great separation and this candle here will be closed in 47 minutes. Okay, so if the price of gold will register a false breakdown with great separation through the immediate uptrend line and uh, if this uh, will be confirmed, I don't know, by a bullish candle, then it could signal a potential potential growth in the in the short term. So also the price, um, the price failed to stay to stabilize below the, the triangles, uh, triangle support. So only a false, uh, false breakdown. And this false breakdown from this uh, from this pattern could uh, maybe could uh, signal a potential, I don't know, maybe after a test retest here, could signal a potential breakout, valid breakout and uh, could uh, announce an upside move Movement. so this is what I'm looking at right now but don't forget that uh, this represents a dynamic uh, resistance and as long as it stays below it it's uh, it's risky to to buy it so uh, I don't know because maybe the price could only reach it as retest before coming back down so um, I will look for for shorts for uh, selling opportunities uh, maybe only below this uh, this low below the weekly s1 below uh, one uh, 1813 and uh, only a valid breakdown uh, below the uptrend line a new lower low could activate a potential downside movement so um, right now let's take a look on the dollar index because the dollar index reached resistance reached resistance let's uh, let's take a look so um, a sell off um, after uh, after reaching uh, resistance uh, resistance area retreat and maybe also this retreat here on the dollar index force it and help it, uh, the the yellow uh, metal to to grow in the in the short term and uh, maybe a very breakout and upside continuation here on uh, dollar index could um, could uh, push the price of uh, the price of gold down again okay so uh, that's why personally i'm looking here right now in the short term after uh, maybe personal I'll wait for uh, for the price of gold to to um, to close the four hour candle maybe the one hour candle but um, maybe i would like here to see test retest sideways movement accumulation right on the right on the the, the triangle support before uh, trying to, um, to 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 jump higher in the in the short term okay so um you have to be careful guys also because uh, please take a look here something like uh, an extended sideways movement here it's uh, it could continue to to move sideways in the short term and uh, don't forget that we have uh, something like uh, like a key level here key level guys in the short term as uh, a static uh, static resistance so uh, you have to be careful because right now uh, the price is almost to, to hit this uh, this key level 18 uh, 28.54 so um, yeah um, personally I would like to see guys uh, here on the four hour maybe I would like uh, to see a confirmation um, a bullish uh, a new bullish candle after this uh, maybe false breakdown with great separation and I don't know valid breakout could signal potential potential growth but right now it's premature to talk about a larger upside movement um, only because uh, as long as it stays below this key level below the weekly pivot point below the downtrend line the pressure remains high okay so uh, and uh, don't forget that only test retest false breakouts here yeah, I could signal a potential new drop or something so you have to be careful sideways movement here and uh, also if I'll um, if I'll uh, 
clone this um, this uh, uh, downtrend line and if I'll uh, put it here we have also something like a, like a flag like a down channel okay false breakdown but we'll need a valid breakout maybe a new higher high to confirm a potential growth here in gold okay uh, thanks for watching this uh, this video learn to trade forex signals don't forget if you want to join uh, the VIP group follow us on uh, on Instagram and please subscribe to our YouTube channel thanks